Hello everyone, this is Yoyo from Mihanaji. In the last video, our engineer showed us how to install the inverter. But what should we do after the installation? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up the inverter with an LCD screen to figure out each function. Turn on the inverter. Press the under button for 5 seconds and then release it. User can enter to above setting interface, of which includes 5 types of setting contents. The first interface is System On Off setting. The hybrid inverter will warm automatically when it is powered on. And user can set the inverter to standby mode through this interface Off for standby mode and On for operation mode. Use the up or down and under buttons to enter system config to check or reset the system time. Use the up or down and enter buttons to enter the system config in the battery type screen. User can check and set the corresponding battery type through this page. When using this other battery, user need to connect NTC to the BMS communication port and stick the other end to the correct position of the least at the battery. Then set the parameters of CV constant voltage, CC constant current, and the LV under voltage point for the least at the battery. CV default 50A volts range 55 to 59.2 volts constant voltage of lead as battery cc default 100 ampere range 0 to 120 ampere maximum charge current of lead as the battery lv default 47 volts range 44 to 50 volts lead as battery stop discharge voltage When the inverter is under self-consumption mode, user need to connect the CT or meter to the CT1 port, and also make sure that the other end of the CT or meter is connected correctly. If CT or meter is not connected, inverter will report error. Press up or down and enter to enter the CT1 selection screen and check or set the CT1 option to CT or matter. When an on-grid inverter is added to the energy storage system, a second CT or matter needs to be added so that the hybrid inverter can monitor the power generated by the on-grid inverter. Thus, the load power and the load power consumption can be measured correctly. Connect one end of the second CT or matter to the CT2 port. When the other end is connected to the output of the on-grid inverter, If the user needs to use the off-grid function when there is no utility power, the off-grid function should be turned on. Backup EPS After utility power outage, the backup port will switch to EPS mode within 10 million seconds. 
backup UPS. After a utility power failure, the backup port switches to UPS power mode within 10 milliseconds and outputs the preset of grid voltage and frequency. After setting the off-grid function, please check and set the corresponding off-grid output voltage and the frequency according to local conditions. The corresponding charging time and discharging time need to be set. The charging time corresponds to three time periods, which are divided into time 1, 2, and 3. During the charging time, it should be noted that the charging time and the charging time cannot conflict. The charging and SOC is the SOC when the battery stops charging and you can set it according to the needs. The charging power refers to the charging power of the inverter to the battery and the charging percentage refers to the weighted power percentage of the inverter. The discharge setting of the battery also has three time periods, which correspond to three discharge time respectively. The battery discharge cutoff SOC defaults to a minimum of 30%, which can be set according to the needs. Users can force charge and force discharge the battery multiple times in one day. Just make sure the force charge and the force discharge times do not conflict. During the force charging time period, the battery does not respond to the discharge demand of the load. However, during the force discharge time period, if the PV power is greater than the weighted in water power, the excess energy of the PV automatically charges the battery. When the hybrid inverter is in self-consumption mode, if the user does not want to discharge the battery for a certain period of time, for example, if the price of utility power is relatively low during a certain period of time, it is more economy to use utility power than battery power. Users can assess the discharge limit screen in self-consumption by pressing the up or down and the enter buttons. Set and enable the limit battery discharge time. During this set time period, the battery is not discharged and the load is powered directly from the utility. The hybrid inverter has an anti backflow function. Users can use the up or down and enter buttons to enter the prevent backflow screen in self consumption to set and enable the backflow prevention function. When the system has assessed power to feed into the grid, the hybrid inverter limits the power output to the utility to the anti backflow setting power with CT1 or MAT1. The power rate option is only available when anti backflow is set to on. When set to 0%, zero, zero power is allowed to feed back to the grid. When set to 50%, 50% of the inverter's weighted power is allowed to feed to the grid.